What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. I'm starting off a super fun vlog this morning. We're actually headed over to Ikea in Red Hook area. So are we gonna take the Ikea ferry or are we just gonna take us the subway? We are? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take the Ikea ferry from Manhattan. I think it only leaves from Manhattan and then head over that way. So it's gonna be like a really fun experience in my opinion. I've never been to the Ikea in New York and the fact that you have to take a ferry to get to it is kind of fun. So I figured I would take you guys along with me for the day. Spoiler alert, we did end up signing for an apartment. So we're gonna start like browsing. I think, I don't know if we'll get a lot of stuff today or if we'll get literally anything, but we might pick up a few things for the apartment if we see it and it's like a good price. So we're going to be like apartment shopping. This is, I guess, the start of all the moving vlogs. There's gonna be so many because we have like literally a whole month to move. So just wanna start off this vlog and say, welcome back, welcome to the channel. If you're new around here, like I said, my name is Hannah. You should stick around, subscribe below, follow all the socials, do all the things. And I'm excited to get this vlog started. I like that thing. Yeah. If we need, I don't think it would fit in our apartment, but. Yeah. It also wouldn't really like go with the brick and everything. Oh yeah, I don't like the, I mean, I like the style of it, is right. what I was saying, yeah. Is it? Yeah, well, it's like plasticky wood. But I feel like the black kind of look. Well, what color is our kitchen cabinets? Do you remember? They're white. Yeah. Is it a different price? It's like $10. Oh, it's cheaper. That's like $50 cheaper. The other one was $230, I think. No? It was like $199. So. I mean, yeah, I this could look good in the kitchen. Yeah, the other one was $229. This one is $179. So it's $50 cheaper. Or something like that. Yeah, I like it. I like the drawer because you could hide like placemats. Oh, well, we don't need a silverware thing, I don't think. Yeah. But like placemats or other random stuff. But yeah, the price is not ideal. Four forty nine. Take a picture. Cool. Like to put above this like rack. Maybe like this. If it didn't say IKEA, right. but that's cool. But you have a lot of cheese boards, don't you? I've got like one really nice like marble wood set. And then I have the I have the two that I just bought at the antique store that one time. Well, I like this mirror. I think that. Oh, I feel like this would be a lot of place. What about a mirror by the entryway, like above, um, like a little stand? Yeah, that could work. Ninety. That's not. Is that bad for a mirror? You could also get off of Amazon. If you compare prices. I have this tiny mirror. Cool concept, not for our specific apartment, but I like the open shelves. <laughs> it's kind of glitchy. Okay, you're building the weirdest couch. <laughs> what are you doing? It's clearly not meant to go there. <laughs> Is this the worst couch you've ever seen? I've never seen a couch with a headrest. This is not a car. <laughs> there we go, 2500. Chef's kiss. Wait, wait, wait. I do like the leather look though. She's still going at it. Oh yeah. Grandma's house unlocked. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm done with this. 
at these bookshelves. Wait, that's not bad. Yeah. Well, it would just be one. Yeah, but we'd only need one if it was gonna fit in that space, like by the door. Yeah. I don't. Do you like this though? I could live with it. I mean, it'd be covered with books anyways. Yeah. Or we could paint it black, maybe. <laughs> DIY project. It's actually not bad. It's really not a bad price for a bookshelf. Yeah. Okay, not of the guy with the feet. Ew, that is like such a weird picture. That's so funny. Wait, wait, can you take a picture of this? Did it pass the sit test? This one's comfier than you think it'd be. Really? Look how small the thing is. My butt wouldn't even fit on that. That's a compliment to yourself. <laughs> This would be Tragic. The, this would be the perfect place to do that. Because it's hidden. Yeah. No, see these lights. I kind of like these lights. Oh, yeah. Not the globes, but the idea of it coming out of the wall it's like also that. It's like dim. Yeah. It's nice. These are like pretty deep. There's yeah, I know. A lot of clothes can go in there. Oh, uh, this is cool. You have bows. I would be so scared that that would fall on us in the middle of the night and knock us out. If that thing fell on top of you, you're done for. Yeah, you just have to make sure. That no. I'm so sorry, but nothing like that is going above us. I would be scared. Where are all the little knickknacks? Huge knickknack gal. We couldn't come to Ikea without getting Swedish meatballs, so about to dive in. Bye bye, Ikea. It's nice knowing ya, nice seeing ya. Kind of rhymed. They also have a ridiculous amount of flags, like why does Ikea need 10 flags hanging outside their building? This is my bag boy. <laughs> Shout out to him, the goat. At Ikea for the day. I'm gonna do a little haul later, but we're currently walking to the Red Hook Winery. So stay tuned to see how that is. Target IKEA haul time. If you guys can hear the noise on the street, I apologize. The bar down the street is literally popping off, so I'm gonna do this quick IKEA haul here. Also, obviously, this is not my apartment, this is my boyfriend's apartment, but we're leaving the IKEA goods in his apartment, and he's just gonna move them to the new apartment instead of hauling it to my apartment. So let's start with the basics. We got this pan that's clearly the packaging is falling apart, but we got this pan, it's like a huge wok type pan this isn't exactly a wok but we were just thinking that we could use this for like fried rice or any other big dishes that we're cooking like pasta it was also on sale there was like a section i don't know if every ikea has it but the R ikea had it there's a section at the end towards the checkout lines where there's like a tent that says buy as is or something and it's basically just like heavily discounted items so this pan was originally $25 and we got it for $17 and it's literally in perfect condition so we were like why not then we got two big salad bowls I've been really into making like at home kava bowls and Mexican salads and stuff like that lately and I never have a bowl big enough I've been using my mixing bowls as like bowls to eat out of so we decided to get two of these because like we love making stuff like that um, unfortunately they don't match like the dish set that I have now that we're gonna keep but we're not gonna use these like all the time and obviously they're gonna go in the cabinet so I don't really care that it doesn't match and they're just a like, good quality and I think they were like five dollars each so it was a good price in my opinion the next thing that we got are just a set of kitchen scissors, five bucks, super simple. We just thought that like you can't go wrong with having too many kitchen scissors and I only have one pair. So we picked these up for a good price. Next, I'm super, super excited about these because I've been eyeing them on the IKEA website for a while. 
They are these. I'll have to get them out. I think they're meant to be champagne glasses, but I'm going to use them as espresso martini glasses because I can do whatever I want. But they're these really pretty glass martini looking glasses. Like I said, I think that they're meant to be for sparkling champagne and we can obviously use it for that too. But I'm going to use it for like espresso martinis and any other like martini type beverage i just thought it was really pretty i love the crystal look to it obviously it's not real crystal but i think it was like 12 to 20 dollars for a pack of four which is such a good deal like i'm sure we could have gotten a deal on amazon too but i loved these and he liked these too so we just picked these up because we love making like at home cocktails and i want to be able to make like espresso martinis and stuff like that at home so got these and then the last thing we got is this wooden cutting board they had literally so many to choose from and i only have two cutting boards in my apartment so we picked up a third one i also like that there's like an edge on this so that it can capture any food that needs to be um thrown away i think that's what it's for if i had to assume it's to scrape like crumbs onto the side of the board but I mean, what do I know about cooking, let's be honest. So I really love this. This was also, I think, $10. So such a good price for like a good wooden cutting board because these run upwards of like $50, $60 anywhere else. But Ikea, like, you can find some good steals there. So that's it for a little Ikea haul. I think in total we spent like $85 at Ikea. And for all of these things, because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, well, if you count, the four glasses is technically 10 things but like six groups of things and for $85 that's not bad we probably would have spent like $100 $200 anywhere else which is why I love Ikea so that's it for the little Ikea vlog and the Ikea haul I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me I know the vlog was probably kind of short I haven't even started editing this video but I'm just assuming it's gonna be short so I'm gonna apologize now. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with us, going to Ikea with us. The Ikea ferry was really cool too. If you live in New York and you take the ferry from 34th Street or Pier 11 often, I would recommend looking up the Ikea ferry on the weekend because it's free on Saturdays and Sundays and it goes directly to Red Hook. And it's just like a fun thing to do that's different than what we normally do, so would highly recommend. But. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.